In this video, I will go over colorize and scan data and the automatic point cloud classification feature. From the images captured from the SX10, point clouds can be colorized and panoramas can be generated. You can use the colorize scans command found under the point cloud toolbar under rendering. In this command, the buttons to the left of the station open up a station view at that particular station. I select the station beside station 1. This is useful for viewing the images at that station, prior and after to colorization. This button will select all the stations for colorization. As well, you can select individual scan stations to colorize. Information on scans and number of points are displayed as well. I will select process to start the colorization procedure. Note, when colorizing scans, this can be a timely process dependent on the number of images and points of the data. You can see now that the point cloud regions are displayed as the true colors. The true color settings are based off of the image color, which is determined in the colorization process. I will now classify the point clouds by regions. The automatic command can be found under the point cloud tab under classify regions. In this command, there are five features you can extract from the point cloud. These are buildings, ground, high vegetation, poles and signs, as well as power line features. There is also an option to merge all of the regions created from one feature. In the case of buildings, you may have several buildings selected. If this option is selected, all of these buildings will be merged into one region automatically. I will select the point cloud and click extract. This process may take several minutes dependent on the size of the point cloud. It is important to note that the classification quality is dependent on the density of the point cloud. The more dense your point cloud, the better extraction you will get. Now that the regions are extracted, you can see the different regions classified by different colors dependent on the feature. The buildings are colored blue, the ground is brown, the high vegetation is green, poles and signs are red, and power lines are colored yellow. If I go into the View Filter Manager, I can see the new regions that are created. If I select Buildings Only, I can see all of the point clouds in this region. Next, I'll look at Ground. Finally, the default region. One way to look at the default region is this can be some of the noise or some objects that don't have a specific classification associated to the point cloud. If you notice here, there are some vehicles and peoples in this region. If I want to separate this building from all other buildings in the project, I can create a new region. To do this, I will toggle the view to see only the buildings layers by right-clicking Buildings and selecting View This Only. I will highlight the building and select Create Region. Now that the building is separated from the other regions, you can change the colors of each region by right-clicking on the region and selecting Properties and choosing a region color. If I want to merge all of the buildings into one layer, I can select all of the buildings and select Merge Regions from the top ribbon. All of these regions can be combined into a new layer. As shown in the Project Explorer, the buildings regions have been merged into one. If you notice here, we have a bit of tree colored under the buildings region. If I want to work on the building, maybe draw an outline or determine the height, I can navigate to the View Filter Manager. In the Point Cloud Regions tab, I know this is classified under Buildings. Right-click and select View Only This. One method to segment out the trees from the building is to use the Polygon or Rectangular Select tool found in the bottom right corner. I prefer the Polygon tool because you can make the precise selection with this tool. To start the selection, click Hold and Drag and then you can select the parts of the point clouds you want to remove. Once you get to the end, right-click and this will select the region. Now I can either create a new region or add to an existing region. For this tutorial, I will add this selection to the high vegetation region. In the next video, I will explain how to export the data from Trimble Business Center and import it into AutoCAD Civil 3D to create a final topographic plan.